when we torch a prairie like this now and it gets that green stuff, uh, that's really going to set that back. It's going to help the prairie plants and it's going to control the, the non-natives that we don't want. Naturalist Pete Uraldi is part of a four-man crew working on this five-acre burn. To start the fire, they used a diesel torch. To keep the fire under control, the crew uses a broom made of fire retardant material to smother any unwanted fire. Also to control the fire, they used this precursor to a proton pack from the movie Ghostbusters. But instead of firing a positively charged stream of protons, this tank is filled with a mix of water and liquid dish soap. The soap just helps mix more of a foam and, and puts out the fire a little bit easier. 300 acres of roadside vegetation have already gone up in smoke thanks to Mahaska County's Conservation Board. The board will get about $600 of federal money for their work. The Mahaska County Pheasants Forever chapter will burn up the rest an additional 700 acres. That money comes directly from landowners that will likely bring in $20,000 to the Pheasants Forever chapter. But why burn prairie? What it does is it actually helps the prairie plants grow back when you put all this ash into the soil, it acts as fertilizer. And the deep roots of the prairie plants they can grow back easily, where uh, something like a Eurasian pasture grass that's not evolved with fire, um, it's not going to grow back. For eight years, park technician Cole Nilsson has been burning prairies and says this burn could not have gone any better. Um, really, you can't ask for much better con conditions than what we have today. Uh, about a five to ten mile an hour wind, uh, low humidity, sun shining, uh, everything went pretty good. And what about all the animals that are calling the prairie their home? Remember, this is a, a native ecosystem, so our native animals are used to this kind of stuff and are able to get out of the way most of the time. Every once in a while, you get that slow rabbit or something like that that doesn't quite make it, but I'd say 99.9% .9 of the critters uh, either ran out ahead of the fire or got underground. Stinking of smoke for CRI Weekly News, I'm John Hoffman.